U.S. President Joe Biden appeared to wander off in the midst of a photo moments with world leaders at the G7 summit in Italy, prompting Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Maloney to guide him back into frame. The president and other world leaders were gathered to view parachute jumpers who descended from the sky while displaying the flags of allied nations, in a show of unity and military prowess. Some of the leaders were still clapping as one blue-clad parachutist unhooked some of his gear, when Biden started slowly walking away. The president waved and gave a thumbs up to another military parachutist who was on the ground gathering his gear. At that point Maloney jumped into action, walking over to the president to guide him back to the shot which would show all the leaders together. Biden and the other leaders then rejoined for the photo with the parachutist. White House Senior Deputy Press Secretary Andrew Bates defended the president, claiming the clip was distorted. He's saying congratulations to one of the divers and giving a thumbs up, Bates said on X. This was not the only odd incident involving Biden at the G7 summit. Earlier, a video showed the US president awkwardly saluting Maloney before walking off stage. Ukrainian Navy spokesman Dmitry Pletenchuk has said that Russia has made changes in the defense of the Kerch Bridge, also known as Crimea Bridge, connecting Russia to Crimea Peninsula. Previously, Russians had from 10 to 14 ships and boats at the sea simultaneously guarding the bridge, but now there are zero of them there. Accordingly, they must somehow solve this problem, Pletenchuk said adding that Russians are building passive barriers and engineering structures near the bridge in the form of the same barges with booms. A video circulated on Telegram app shows the fortification around the bridge. According to British intelligence report, Russians have pulled eight barges to the bridge. The British analyzed satellite images, noting that installation began on May 10 and was completed on May 22. Today's satellite image already shows 17 barges, except for the flooded ones, and some unusual buildings reminiscent of piers. Crimea was annexed by Russia in an early 2014 and has been the venue of hostilities since Russia's full-fledged invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. Ukraine struck an S-400 system in Zankoy and two less advanced S-300 systems near Yevpatoria and Kornomorsk in Crimea this week, resulting in significant losses for Russian air defenses, Ukraine's general staff said.